We went in. Day 164. Okay, so we're starting out. Last night it was supposed to, well, yesterday afternoon it was supposed to rain like crazy. That's why we, obviously I hustled to get to that shelter. It didn't. Uh, it rained. It rained. I could have gone a little bit further, which would have been good. But main thing is I could have just set my tent up. These next 10 miles are one of the, if not the toughest 10 miles on the whole AT. Um, I've already been going this morning for about three hours. I moved about two hour, two miles. Climbed up Mount Success, that's what you saw. And uh, now I'm going the rest of the way, but we're gonna see good stuff, hard stuff. Feet are already soaking wet, um, cold. But the Mahusik, Mahusik Notch, I think that's how you pronounce that. The hardest, but also most fun mile in the AT that's coming up here, some other stuff. So it's gonna be real good much of it filmed for you as I can but I got to work today I'm gonna go 10 miles and it's gonna take me a solid 10 maybe 11 hours so off we run plus I got to find a nice dry spot because the sun is coming out today and it's gonna be out tomorrow so I need to lay some stuff out and let the sun do its thing this is not the worst thing I've gone through this morning but just to give you an idea the main thing is see the sun the sun's coming it makes you not even care about this stuff that much. All right, uh, so this is that's the trail. And this is it's just like next to me. I gotta just climb up it. Um, and when I said that, I think I said in the intro of the next ten miles. Actually, the next twenty miles is what I'm talking about. Part is the hardest part, and uh, the notch the. Looks like not the hardest mile. I think we can do that tomorrow. There's still a lot of stuff to see today and tomorrow, so I'm in both days. I'm just inching along. I'm showing you this because this is like the nicest part. I can stand here. It's, everything's just boulders that are all real super slick from four days worth of rain and roots and rocks and water and everything's at odd angle and sloped and terribly wet and I don't know it's not just one thing I'm cruising about a half mile an hour and I'm working Here's the trail. It's awesome. <laughs> We're gonna use these all day to get these 10 miles. Stupid. All right, so the trail, this is just like, it's about four foot jump off and then down in there, giant boulder, then down there, and then it goes right back up there like that. The important part of today, this is probably the most significant thing, Good news is I am officially in Maine. Bad news is they put the finish line 282 miles past this site into Maine. So apparently I have to do that. Here's to Maine. Ah. I'm at the top of something. Of something else. We're going over there to that. It's a good spot. I think it might be a better spot. Now the wind. Try some stuff out.
if I trail. All right, I just checked. I'm 2.9 miles away from the campsite. It's 3.40. Lucky to get there by 6.30 given how it's going today. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe it'll just be an easy stretch. <laughs> yeah, it'll be an easy stretch. <laughs> Same view, just a little closer. Goodness, I saw this coming. They got these steel rungs in here to climb up. Whew. And I hope I don't go up that way. I hope I go around that way. Okay, that was easy. That's gonna be easy right here. I still hope it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. Uh, it's all gonna look harder tomorrow. This is just the beginning. Okay, yeah, it's this way. extra view for us. Okay, go up this way. Be Whew, I'm glad to see that. There's people in this other vault over here. See them? They're in the sh uh, there's a real nice couple there in the shelter with us last night. Let's see if they can see something wave. Yeah, I'm up here. No. I'll come down though and go through your food bag when you're when it's over. They don't see me. Right, little monkey climb up there. There's a village tart. Stop screwing around, come on. And those two over there. They waved, but we didn't get it on video. All right, this ladder looks brand new. Should be no problem. <laughs> You're just resting? What are you doing? <laughs> I can't get my foot that high. <laughs> hey, throw your poles up and get rid of those poles. <laughs> Make sure your weight is all the way to your right. Do not turn your weight to the left. Okay. There you go. Strong. Huh. Well, I'm at the top. There's an extra little peak I gotta do. It's just I'm a twin of this one. It's not a big deal, but I'm only I'm 2.6 miles from full goose. So that means in the last 25 minutes, I've only gone four tenths of a mile. Oh, flat section. I'm gonna make up some time real fast. Oh, yeah. All right, I was wrong. I did have to climb that other big thing. It was easier. So this is Goose Peak East, I guess, and that's Goose Peak West. There's the other one. So the wind's hardly blowing. They said it was gonna be windy up here. I don't know. Seems fine. All right, headed down. This should be the last climb for the day. So I just came down. It was straight down. That was one of the toughest downs I've ever done. It's just all wet. That's the problem. It's all wet and it's real slick. Man, was that steep. It's only 450 though. I made good time. 
Yeah. What the hell do you... I have no idea. All right, 10 minutes later, on the other side. I scratched my leg up pretty good. It's all right. I'm gonna climb this thing and around. That sucked. back there that we did. It's 5.30, one mile away from the campsite. Definitely stopping and camping here. Everyone knows you never go full goose. <laughs>